Back live tonight on In Focus. Former President Thabo Mbeki says there's legitimacy around the question of uh, possible money laundering in the Palapala farm scandal. He was speaking during his annual engagements with various sectors of society in his capacity as UNISA Chancellor. Mbeki was asked whether he would link SA's grey listing with the revelations that President Sir Ramaphosa had stashed foreign currency in his sofa. Museum Africa's senior politics reporter Zian Dangobo filed this report. Former President Thabo Mbeki engaged an audience at UNISA who asked him questions on wide rating issues in the public domain. Chief among them is the cloud which continues to hang over President Cyril Ramaphosa's head about the Palapala farm scandal. In particular, Mbegi was asked if he believes there's a correlation between South Africa's grey listing and this yet-to-be-concluded investigation. About grey listing, he referred to Palapala. And that is correct, the reference. Because uh, the story was that there's a, a Sudanese businessman who lives in, 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 uh, in Dubai who came to South Africa carrying lots and lots of cash in dollars, came through Oliver Tambo Airport, declared the money, bought buffaloes. It's, it's strange, it's odd, that the successful business person who's got that amount of money and can buy buffaloes walks around with that kind of money as cash. <laughs> it's a strange concept. <laughs> All of this emphasize, I mean, it, uh, it draws attention to this issue, to the question, are we not yet dealing with the problem of money laundering? Mbeki corrected one of the guests who'd asked him what he made of the acting public protector's reports looking into Palapala, which purports to clear Ramaphosa of any wrongdoing. He says this is premature because the leaked document in the media is not final as the determination is yet to be made. So the report that the public protector has cleared President Ramaphosa is incorrect. Yeah. They are in the process of working on the matter and have said that when they receive these inputs from others, then they will prepare their final report. That is how, as I understand the matter. Uh, and indeed, that, that, that com communication of theirs uh, to, the, to the parties concerned it leaked. It was not a public release uh, because they were not making any proposal to the, the public to engage a matter that's a public protect. They were communicating to the people concerned. So I, I hope that we will we'll continue to treat it like that, that there's, there's no determination. The UNISA Chancellor was also asked to weigh in on the current electricity situation and without mentioning his name, says that he found former ESCOM CEO Andre Dereta's comments during a sit-down TV interview uneducated. He was uh, talking in a way which was very disturbing in this sense. Uh, this was somebody who was demonstrating the dangers of what the poet has called a little knowledge being a very dangerous thing. Because clearly he doesn't know what he is talking about. But he thinks he knows. But doesn't. The former head of state has once again been asked how he believes the country's corruption crisis should be dealt with. Mbeki has emphasized the importance of the ANC's renewal program, which he says the governing party should be held accountable for implementing at all times. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Zian Dangobo at UNISA in Twane.